you're seated. Please hold the hand grips at all times. I know, me times. too. I'm so excited. This is <laughs> like, I'm necessarily excited it's about experience. this. It's a whole new experience. Okay. Give or take. And how long do those shakings at that level last for? It depends. The Great Alaska Earthquake of 1964 was a 9.2. It's the second largest earthquake ever recorded. It was eclipsed by Japan, which beat us out at a 9.3. Um, at a 9.2, it lasted two minutes. <gasps> how long was that? That was 30 seconds. Whoa, so, two minutes? And to give you an idea, when you increase from uh, like an 8.0 to a 9.0, whenever you go up by a full uh, the full bracket on the Richter scale it doesn't increase 10 times, it increases 35 times. So it's a it's full algorithm that goes up. So to go from an 8.0 to a 9.0, whatever the maximum shaking I just gave you, imagine it 35 times more intense. That's incredible. What? For two minutes! And for two minutes straight. Plus, the thing with the 64 quake was we can only simulate forward backward really with this, a little bit of side to side little bit of up down because we're mounted on springs but we've got a single shaft that drives this thing. The other thing that we get is rolling action with quakes. Um, that, that does a lot of damage to buildings, makes it very difficult to stand. Yeah, it's hard to imagine that going in three axes. Oh yeah, it'll wow. move all over the place. So you guys can see how important it is to get off your feet because you're not going to stand very well. Get under a sturdy object because you can see where our uh, our object analogs ended up, and you probably saw these things yeah, jump. That was terrifying. Yeah, and these are secured down. Yeah, whose house in LA is secured like this? Hmm. Where would I go? So, and you heard the tsunami siren go off there, mm -hmm. I think, in the middle. Um, you may or may not hear that here in this community because the big risk for this community is a locally generated tsunami, which means it occurs because of the quake that you just felt. The tsunami siren has to be activated after we confirm a tsunami exists. By the time we confirmed one here, it's already on shore running through the town. So when you feel the shaking stop, that's when you get up, get out of the house, head for high ground immediately. Hmm. Okay. And this is what the earthquake looks like from outside the quake cottage. I think he must have this set lower this time. 